Hello everybody. I decided to record this outside. Um, if you guys like that Missouri State Penitentiary and how I redone that, uh, and if you'd like me to redo some of my other old videos or talk more about the Missouri State Penitentiary MSP, then let me know and comment and let me know. I'm going to show a video at the end of this and uh, it's for educational purposes. It's not to glorify what's going on in prison it's um, so that young people will see what's going on in there and this happens all the time I've seen it several times and uh, what you're going to see is a fight on the yard and it's recorded from inside of a cell the guy looking out his window on the yard a couple times they get pretty close to the window some of it takes place a little farther away, it's hard to see what's going on, but there's some people getting poked up, and they got some long, <laughs> they're not, what is a crocodile dundee uh, say, that's not a knife, this is a knife, well, it's like that, but anyway, my whole, whole purpose in showing these videos I know the first one I showed was kind of mild, uh, and I mainly showed it for the, those who had, you know, the people that was talking and had a message. But it's so that young people understand it's not fun anymore. People fight over anything. You know, even if you go inside, get into prison, and, and if you're tested and you prove that you, you'll stand up for yourself, any time, any day, you could get into it over something. It could be anything. You never know what's going to happen. You always have to stay aware. I remember a guy, I was in a hole at the walls, MSP, and you know, it, the front is open, it's all bars. And this, uh, they brought this guy by, and he was, his hole from his chest down was wrapped up you know all the way around and I was like man what happened to him I wonder so they put him in the cell next to me and these the walls are quarter inch steel and the whole we was out here it wasn't some of them were brick and you can't even hardly hear the other person or rock granite or whatever and it's hard to talk to but this where I was in the hole it was just thin steel and so he said, uh, knocks on the wall. He said, hey, uh, young blood, come up to the bars. So I go up there and he goes, uh, and I didn't even know this guy, really. I mean, I knew him, but I didn't know him, you know. It's not like we hung out a lot. He goes, you want to know what happened? And I said, well, yeah, kind of, but I said, it's none of my business, you know. I'm, I'm on my own. Has nothing to do with me. He goes, oh, I don't mind telling you. He goes, you ain't gonna believe this one. He said, my cellie went to the hole. So uh, he goes, I was trying to get my partner moved in. He said, but he goes, you know, sometimes you can bypass the paperwork and get them moved right in right away. But he said, it wasn't happening this time. We just have to go through paperwork. And he said, in the meantime, they moved this gay guy in with him. He said, usually, you know, people like us, we refuse them, right? And I said, yeah. You know, I said, it's not because them being gay or anything. He goes, no, you, <laughs> you just don't want to be associated with them, you know? It looks bad on you. And I said, that's right. He goes, but I let him in because I figured it's only going to be for a day or two. And he said, but I told him, don't be bringing any of that stuff, or doing any of that stuff in my cell, don't be bringing anybody in the cell. You know, you're only gonna be here for a minute because I, I'm trying to get a partner moved down here. And he, he said, he told me, okay. He goes, later that night, he goes, I was laying down, about to fall asleep, and he said, he just started poking me up, doing the hokey pokey, you know, uh, wetting me up. 
Or whatever you want to call it. I mean, that ain't the words he used, but that's the words I'm using here for YouTube. And uh, he said, I guess he called, he said, I guess they called the guards, or he called the guards. He said, they cuffed him up, they had him standing outside the cell while they was messing with me and put me on a stretcher and everything. And he said, as they brought me out, he said, this guy had the nerve to blow me a kiss and say, see you later. Years later, I mean, probably way down the road, I'd be with some of my workout partners, and, and they'd see one, a gay guy, and they'd say, look at, him. Look at that soft ass dude, look at that punk. And I had to tell them, not all these guys that are gay are punks. And I'd tell them that story, you know, I was always reminded of that story, of what I've seen. And uh, I said, you, but you know, they's right about some of them. Some of them people you can just tell by looking at them that they ain't built like that. You know, they ain't they ain't gonna do nothing. You know, and uh, except what they're told. And um, but some of them, you know, I had to tell you, not all of them are like that. Some of them are dangerous. Some of them will. They'll mess you up. They're bad news. And uh, so I tell this because young people coming into prison sometimes have that. Once they get established and settled in, they have the wrong impression, you know. And once they're settled in, you know, they realize, you know, they passed their test or whatever, you know. And they, stood up for their first fight and they think, well, I ain't going to have no more problems. That's not the case. I mean, you, if you're gambling, you're going to the store, man, you're getting in any type of debt, that's going to bring more problems, you know. If you're messing with those boys, I'm telling you, it's going to bring more problems. I've seen it happen. And somebody told me, on, I was on TikTok the other day, and I tell, told a story about uh, some um, some young kid throwing uh, oil and uh, water, hot water and oil on a guy, and his face coming off. And they said, that's a lie. And I said, yeah, well, so you're saying that the other things that happen are a lie too, you know? I said, it, these things happen. Anything, you know. And prisoners, they're good at making weapons out of anything. They're very, you know, they got 24 hours a day, every day, to think of something. They have ways, they have all this time just to think back and how they're going to manipulate somebody or how they're going to get over on somebody or how they're going to take advantage of somebody. And it doesn't matter if it's another prisoner or it's a staff member. That's what they do. It used to be Just goes to show how observant uh, the kids are. Ethan just walked right by me. And I don't even think he saw me. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta be aware of your surroundings at all times. Anything could happen. Anytime. At any moment. You know, so I'm, I'm going to show this video, and I'll show more in the future, just to try to get this point across, you know, because there's certain things you don't do in prison, but, you know, everybody slips. I've slipped in prison, you know, got caught tripping. It's happened to a lot of people. Or you get in a mess. I've seen people... 
prisoners to attack other prisoners just because they want to go to the hole. You know, or they went out of the camp. And usually, when they're doing that, they're doing it right in front of staff. So it'd be broken up, you know. Somebody trying to check in and go to PC or something. So they they do this right. But you, you know, you could be minding your own business in the medical line, in the child line, anything, and somebody just come up and, and clock you. It could be for no reason that, that he wants to go to the hole. He wants, maybe, well, they don't do tobacco runs no more because they took tobacco out in 2018. But it could be for anything. Maybe you looked at him wrong. Maybe you said something that he took offense to. And another thing is, if, if you're in a low-level security, this is not like less likely to happen because you know people are going home but they there may be a lot of you know fights and stuff but if you're in a high level prison you got people in there that are not going home the good news is a lot of these guys that's been there a long time and they're not going home all they do is sit back and observe they keep an eye on everything they pretty much leave everybody alone unless they're messed with. If you say something wrong to them, you go in debt to them, they feel disrespected in any way, most likely they're not going to fight you. They're just going to poke you. Wet you up. But if you leave them alone, the good news, like I said, the good news is if you don't bother them, <laughs> They're uh, pretty easy to get along with. Another thing I'd like to tell young people going to, it may, I hope to God not, but I know some of you, probably young people that are listening, may end up in prison. Just listen to the old heads. And that's what I did. And those lifers that are not leaving anybody alone, they may not talk to you at first. You know, because they don't, they don't really just start talking to people. But, if you're asking for advice, you know, they see that you're just trying to do your time, you know, they see that you're uh, really wanting to learn how to do time, then they, they'll tell you. Most of them will. I know if I was still in there, young people coming in, and I did do this, I would talk to them, you know. Some of them listened, some of them didn't. Some of them wanted to get out there in the yard and get involved in everything that was going on, and next thing you know, they're in a wreck. By being in a wreck, I mean, they're getting jammed up somewhere, or they, they get wetted up, they're getting, a, they're getting fights, whatever, but, uh, some of them did listen and so that's that's the video I have for you uh, today the, the message I have for you guys is those who are going to prison you know some of the things that you can do or avoid those who are messing up the video is just to try to keep you from going It's like Jay Walker says, and others have said this, I've seen it worded different, but it's really the same thing. Your worst day in the free world is better than your best day in prison. So keep that in mind. Enjoy your freedom. Live your life to the fullest because you don't want to be in prison because you're not living your life to the fullest you're not enjoying your life yeah you may get in there and joke around with people and stuff but those people they're not enjoying their lives and it's not the life you want 